Here is another absolutely deadly killer. Uh, malaria. Malaria kills around 250,000 to half a million of people every year and it's predominantly in Sub-Saharan Africa and Southeast Asia. Uh, malaria is caused by an organism uh, called Plasmodium. Plasmodium. This is a single cell organism. There are several different species of Plasmodium and they are just absolutely ferocious. So how does Plasmodium actually work? Now it is a fairly complicated life cycle. So let's have a look at that. So first of all what we need is a specific um, mosquito type, an Anopheles mosquito, and we need the female Anopheles. The male Anopheles, they don't bite. It is only the, the female uh, mosquitoes uh, that are horrible. Now, let's see how they do that. So, they have some of these uh, malaria plasmodium organisms in their salivary glands. And how they get there, we will discuss in a minute. But in the salivary glands, they have these uh, organisms and when they bite a human through the salivary gland some of these organisms they are called the sporozoids they will be injected into the human and here you see these sporozoids in the in the, in, in the, in the capillaries in the in the veins and they move to the liver in the liver these sporozoids will invade the liver cells. Uh, liver cells are also called hepatocytes. So in the liver, these sporozoids will invade the liver cells and they will multiply. They will, they, they will double, triple, quadruple and, and invade these liver cells here. And they turn into what is called the uh, merocyte. Don't worry too much about the names, uh, it is more important that you understand the, the principle. So in these merozoids, in the, in the, in the liver, uh, the, the next generation of this plasmodium is growing up. And sooner or later the liver cell can't stand it any longer and it will just simply burst and uh, will destroy the liver cell. And it releases lots and lots and lots of these merozoids. And you see, we have got thousands of these merozoids, and they are released into the bloodstream. And in the bloodstream, they sniff out the red blood cells, and they invade red blood cells. So these merozoids invade these red blood cells. They will for, first form a ring, and then they 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 will um, grow up, and they uh, then convert into what is called a trophozoid here and uh, this trophozoid uh, undergoes lots of different uh, replications and it would produce lots of what is called schizons. These are another form of these uh, organisms, of the plasmodium organism, and these schizons then sooner or later will rupture the red blood cell and uh, will release more of these merozoids. The, the, these are these are just simply is 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 a multiplication cycle, and the the problematic thing here is it will destroy the red blood cells, and that is where all the symptoms come from when you suffer from malaria. You have high temperature, you feel absolutely lousy, and this is when the uh, schizons rupture the red blood cells. So in this erythrocytic uh, or red blood cell cycle we generate more and more and more of these malaria parasites. Then uh, some of these parasites will undergo a sort of uh, another process and they will differentiate into male and female uh, parasites. Now they are sitting there, they can't do anything in the blood cells, they can't uh, fuse together in the blood cell because for that to get to, to, to fuse together they uh, need the conditions which are only available in the uh, in a mosquito gut so they have to wait till another anopheles female anopheles takes a blood meal 
and they are then sucked up uh, with the, the blood cells and go into the gut of the uh, mosquito. And here in the mosquito, in the mosquito gut, there are then the right conditions for these two male and female cells to fuse together. Uh, they form then uh, what is uh, called an oocyst here. And this oocyst uh, grows into an okinate, form a zygote, that a zygote is just simply uh, a male and a female cell uh, fused together. And this zygote then develops into these sporocytes. And these sporocytes then move back into the salivary gland and the reproductive loop is closed. These uh, sporocytes then waiting in the salivary gland till they are injected into a human again and uh, where they then can uh, do their um, start their next life cycle. Now, just a quick uh, shot of what these things look like. So the merozoites in the in the liver, uh, they are looking a little bit uh, like uh, have, have something like this shape here. They are all single cell organisms, I have to say. So they have here this shape. Uh, this is in the liver and then they invade the bloodstream. In the bloodstream we have the sporozoites. And so they are elongated worm-like parasites and then when they end up in the mosquito gut uh, they form this okinate uh, which can move around and then it divides and uh, forms more of these uh, schizons. So I hope that makes sense and uh, it shows you actually how complicated uh, life is when you are a plasmodium um, parasite. But on the other hand, it also shows that they are incredibly successful and also very, very dangerous. Thank you very much for watching.